Sometimes in war, a single heroic soldier can change everything, and this situation could reshape the whole course, as we mentioned, in the Ukrainian army. A single young hero has managed to change everything recently. This hero whom the whole world talked about and wondered about became the main focus of the war. We have managed to reach all the unknowns about this young hero in the Ukrainian army who is curious by everyone for you. In fact, there are dozens of unnamed successful soldiers like this young hero in the Ukrainian army. If you remember, a sniper in the Ukrainian army made history by shooting a Russian soldier from exactly 2.7 kilometers away. Now, another nameless Ukrainian hero who will go down in the history of world wars has managed to change the course of the clashes on the Donetsk front line with his incredible effort. With the increase in the intensity of clashes in the Donetsk region, the attack range between both sides of the war was also shortened considerably. The Ukrainian hero we mentioned was also fighting for freedom in Marinka, one of the hottest clashes in Donetsk and Marinka, which was the scene of tank battles and trench clashes. The Russian forces attacked the area where our hero's brigade was located, while the artillery of Russian tanks was targeting the front line where our hero was. This young Ukrainian soldier had already started firing the laser-guided javelin anti-tank missiles he operated to protect his comrades. The first javelin missile fired by our hero managed to blow up five Russian war tanks standing very close to each other. Since the beginning of the war, we have witnessed many historical moments like this. But this heroic Ukrainian soldier's mastery of the javelin and destroying Russian tanks with one shot was truly a unique example. Because after our heroic Ukrainian soldier destroyed the Russian tanks, the violence of the clashes in Marinka began to subside. In fact, the young Ukrainian javelin operator was not just running his own business at the time, but what he accomplished gave the Ukrainian forces a great advantage in Marinka. And as a result of these striking javelin shots, the Russians had to gradually withdraw from the area while the Russians were retreating. The javelin shots of our heroic soldier against the Russian forces continued unabated. The size of this attack, which was supported by the Ukrainian tank units, was getting bigger and bigger as a result of this striking Ukrainian offensive operation. Russian troops lost seven IAF vehicles as well as battle tanks. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense has released a video of the attack we mentioned shot by the 79th Air Assault Brigade, which shows that guided javelin missiles hit and detonated a large number of tanks on the battlefield in Marinka. This video has immortalized the historical moments where our hero's successful javelin shooting took place under this remarkable video published by the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. The sentence the American weapon in the hands of Ukraine works wonders was written. Striking operations have occurred in recent weeks, such as the attacks at Marinka, in which large numbers of Russian tanks have been destroyed by Ukrainian forces. This last example at Marinka was perhaps of an unprecedented kind since the beginning of the war. But the Ukrainian forces continued to blow like a storm, not only in this city, but also on all front lines of the Donbass region, especially in Bakhmut, one of the most critical front lines in the Donetsk region. The Ukrainians are constantly engaged in active offensive efforts to Ukrainian army brigades. Defending the southern flank of the city observe the efforts of the Russians in this city as fierce clashes continue in and around Bakhmut. But in Bakhmut for months, the Ukrainians face both regular Russian army forces and prisoners who had been rounded up by the Wagner Special Military Group and filled their trenches in droves. Therefore, to win the Bakhmut trench battle, the Ukrainians need operational success rather than observation. Ukrainian soldiers explained that Russian losses in this city far exceeded their own. But the Russians are using new techniques to seize the city and the surrounding countryside. In fact, Ukraine's forces seem outnumbered and outgunned in the city. But on a southern limestone slope is an anti-tank group from the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade. On the other hand, Neither the Russians nor the Ukrainian armies are releasing official casualty figures for Bakhmut or elsewhere. But the mostly abandoned city has turned into a slaughterhouse. Officially, Ukraine estimates that for every soldier killed, Russia lost seven soldiers. Earlier this week, Russia claimed to have killed more than 20 Ukrainian soldiers in a 24-hour period in a battle of Bakhmut. But the Ukrainians declared that the Russians lost an average of 1,000 soldiers a day here. None of these numbers could be independently verified. However, most important sources state that the Russians lost much more soldiers in the city of Bakhmut than the Ukrainians. 
the fact that the Russians lost so many soldiers is entirely due to the inadequacy of military training. In a newspaper interview, two captured Wagner soldiers said they received little training beyond learning to crawl through forests in the dark before being sent to the front. These two soldiers were released after serving six months at the front, assuming they survived. On the other hand, weather conditions adversely affected both sides of the war. Along the 600-mile-long Eastern Front, conditions began to change. An early spring has turned the hard winter ground into mud. In this muddy terrain, Russian forces are still trying to advance steadily trying to encircle Bakhmut. But the commander of the Ukrainian ground forces, General Alexander Skirsky, declared that his forces would continue to resist. So why are Russia and Ukraine fighting so hard for this pile of rubble? Why do both sides risk the lives of so many soldiers to attack and defend the city in a war that lasts longer than any other in this war? Many analysts consider Bakhmut to have little strategic value. Bakhmut is not a garrison town or a transport hub or a major population center. Before the invasion, about 70,000 people lived there. The city was best known for its salt and gypsum mines and its huge winery. In fact, the city has no particular geographical significance. As a Western official noted, Bakhmut was a small area on a 1,200-kilometer front line. Still, Russia is using huge military resources to seize this city. Western officials estimate that between 20,000 and 30,000 Russian soldiers have been killed or wounded in Bakhmut and its environs so far. The Kremlin needs a victory, albeit a symbolic one. It has been a long time since the summer when Russian forces captured cities such as Severodonetsk and Lysychansk. The territorial gains that they have made since then have been gradual and slow. So Russia needs a feat to calm down the pro-Kremlin propagandists in its hometown. Also, Bahamut's importance is greatly increased as capturing the city would potentially allow Russia to threaten larger urban areas such as Kramatorsk and Sloviansk. Russian commanders also want to take Bakhmut for military reasons. They hope it can provide them with a springboard for further land acquisition. On the other hand, Wagner leader Yevgeny Prigozhin risked his own reputation and that of his private army to capture Bakhmut. He hoped to show that his warriors could do better than the regular Russian army. Prigozhin recruited thousands of prisoners and released them into the defense of Ukraine. Many of them went to their deaths. Also, if he is not successful here, Prigozhin's political influence in Moscow will diminish. That's why the Wagner leader is doing his best to win Bakhmut. Like Russia, Ukraine gave Bakhmut political importance. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky turned the city into an emblem of resistance. When Zelensky visited Washington in December, he described it as a stronghold of our morale and presented a Bakhmut flag to the U.S. Congress. In addition, the Ukrainian leader said that the fight for Bakhmut will change the course of the fight for independence and freedom. So perhaps the most important thing in the Battle of Bakhmut is how many casualties each side suffered and what this might mean for the next phase of the war. Russia will have inflicted so many casualties that it weakens its capacity to launch further attacks. The Ukrainians, on the other hand, will be able to turn this situation into an advantage and bring the war to a very serious stage. Of course, it should not be forgotten that there are many talented soldiers in the Ukrainian army, such as the hero of the young javelin operator. Ukrainian soldiers have begun to move into this location as a result of these factors. The Ukrainian army's key operation had the potential to change everything. Ukraine is said to have made significant advances in this area for some time. The Engels Air Base, which he identified with the Bayraktors, was one of the most important of them. It was well known that this air facility in Russia's shared facility in Russia's Saratov region was crucial from a strategic standpoint. This sector, where numerous strategic decisions have been made, has been entirely devastated by Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles. Following that, the Russian army was under intense pressure as a result of the total annihilation of an air fleet. As a result, the Kremlin was forced to issue a red alert. Russian planes have been rendered incapable of attacking as a result of this operation while the Russian forces were panicked. Ukraine gained supremacy as a result of the Ukrainian army's more serial actions. However, in light of recent advances, the Russian army desired to make another breakthrough. The Russian military is said to have destroyed a substantial number of unmanned aerial vehicles in this location. However, the fact that the sources of these reports are based on the Russian press raises further concerns. 
The materials that Putin releases in order to promote misinformation in a variety of areas frequently do not reflect the reality. As a result, it makes no sense to utilize Russian news unless it is corroborated by many sources. Following that, as a result of Ukraine resuming operations, the areas where the Russian army is concentrated began to explode or burn severely. Despite the fact that many of them were persuaded by Russia, eyewitnesses testified in ways that confirmed Ukraine's operations. Another fire broke out not long after this one. The source of this information is St. Petersburg was the registered name. Unmanned naval vehicles allegedly carried out strikes on an oil tanker at one of the region's key ports. This nearly struck the Russian troops in the chest. Following the recent developments, a massive fire broke out on the port's oil-laden ship. It has once again been revealed how serious Russia's border security problems are as it is frantic in the aftermath of this tragedy. However, the Kremlin's most recent pronouncements have surprised the entire world. Russia is reported to have retreated in numerous regions. He planned to exert steady pressure on Ukraine at the start of the war. Putin's ambitions have now taken a completely new turn as a result of his failure to accomplish so. Russian soldiers are aware that the Ukrainian army has a significant advantage in several places, but none of them reached the point where they couldn't make a sound because of the armies and the public's awareness. Putin began to take the propaganda tool very seriously. Although this was mostly owing to the fact that all operations against Ukraine had initially had very high success rates. Ukraine's actions against the Russian army began to be overlooked as well because losing power would be tantamount to Putin being unable to defend even the regions within his borders. As a result, Putin has frequently begun to take numerous initiatives in order to maintain his position in Russia. Following that, it became clear that Putin, who has been mentioned as the cause for the inadequacy of many of the moves taken against Ukraine, is confronting the most difficult challenge he has ever faced. However, it is now clear that military analysts are disseminating information to the entire world from a frontal perspective. These words, on the other hand, will have far-reaching consequences around the world. According to military specialists, Putin is trapped in a variety of ways. Russia's economy is in horrible shape, and the army has deteriorated significantly as a result of recent military changes. The fight against Ukraine is over. In other words, Russia's problems have grown so severe that the government over which Putin is responsible no longer trusts anyone. Putin, who began immediately detaining a huge number of opposition groups after liquidating the army in fear of a coup, began to cross the line in many regions. This also opens the door for broader revolutions to erupt in Russia and the patience of the Russian army and people is being tested. However, one argument presented as the justification for the severe intervention in these protests and countless arrests will entirely alter Putin's perception. Everything has changed as a result of the Russian army's loss of around 200,000 soldiers since the start of the war. Because of the Russian army's breakthroughs, there are no soldiers remaining to fight in the army. As a result, Putin began to rely on the Wagner mercenary squad in this area. However, Wagner, who frequently used condemned soldiers, need finances. Putin, who believes that this source should come from the Russian people, is said to have set up a large game. He provides military duty by detaining opposition groups. This opens the door for things to progress into other problems. But given that the military shortage is still ongoing, it is also worth noting that a significant new law has been introduced in the Russian parliament. Putin's new bill also calls for the incarceration of women. Despite the challenges caused by this decision, it is estimated that roughly 120,000 women will join the army. This has actually begun to demonstrate to the rest of the world how weak the Russian army has become. Recent events have also verified these in numerous ways, and Putin's influence is now swinging because many of the actions that Russia's military will take against Ukraine have become tangled. If this conflict is lost, it is extremely likely that Putin will lose power. That is why Putin will remain enraged. A massive operation from Ukraine in the Black Sea. The Russian army isn't a major problem. Putin, who had trouble getting his ships into the Black Sea, is now claimed to be trapped in various ways with these new successes. The Ukrainian army has effectively cornered the Russians, and Putin erupted in rage as a result of this move. The Ukrainian army made a significant advance in the final days of the Russian-Ukrainian war, when Russia's actions to generate ground pressure proved ineffective. It was determined to go a new route. 
he intended to launch a series of attacks on Ukraine's key cities along the selected coastline. Russian ships have moved to the port of Odessa, one of the major ports of the Ukrainian army, to organize a huge operation. However, Ukraine replied in such a way that the Russians were dealt the most severe blow yet. Ukraine's recent successes have now reached a tipping point. The key reason for this was the widespread support he received from several countries. Because of its recent victories, it was entirely likely that Ukraine might launch an offensive against the Russians instead. The Ukrainian army used all of its intelligence networks to take action against the Russians following. Then it began to be discussed that Ukrainian soldiers are now pounding the Russians the hardest. The Ukrainian army was preparing for an operation when it was discovered that the Russians were ready to launch an attack near Odessa. When the Ukrainian army learned about the raid, they reacted angrily. Before we go into the specifics of the operation, you can use the super thank you button to help our crew, which works around the clock to bring you the most up-to-date information. According to Putin's orders, the Russian army first totally blasted Odessa, and then it was planned to approach Kiev from this location by sending a huge number of landing ships. The Ukrainian army reacted quickly after discovering this. An unbelievable strategy was implemented in order to prevent the Russians from taking even the smallest step in this territory. At this juncture, one of the most crucial U.S. purchased weapons was utilized against the Russian troops from the start of the war. These weapons were at the heart of all forms of strikes. These were HIMARS weapons. It is well known that the Ukrainian army has been leading the way for some time as a result of these steps. However, Ukraine has inflicted a surprise blow to the Russian fleet with its last important move before the Russians carried out this operation. The Ukrainian army began to line up a huge number of HIMARS along the coast. The HIMARS, on the other hand, were well prepared for any threat that may approach the coast. When the Ukrainian army learned that the Russians had initiated the operation, they entirely evacuated Odessa's port as the Moscow cruiser and two ships neared. Ukraine assumed command of the HIMARS and began to wait. The Russian ships were docked nearby and he began sending missiles back and forth to the port of Odessa. Following that, the port of Odessa took a beating. Following that, the Russian soldiers, believing they had destroyed the port, began to approach the region. However, the Ukrainian army intervened. At this point, Russian ships dock became easy targets. Following that, the HIMARS in Ukraine's control began to fire back to back. Everything changed when Russian ships observed the Ukrainian army's move. The Russian army was taken aback as to what to do next. The Russians understood they were in trouble when the Ukrainian army used HIMARS despite their want to escape the ships as soon as possible. The Ukrainian army continued to rain missiles. However, Ukraine's move has disclosed an operation that will alter the dynamics of the battle and the Moscow cruiser detonated from the Russian ships. This demonstrated just how awful the Russian army is in a bad circumstance. He acquired significant advantages over Russian soldiers as a result of the Ukrainian soldiers. As a result of the Ukrainian soldier sentiments, the advance of the Ukrainian army in numerous regions has begun to alter the Russians' course. Putin may now be considered desperate in this regard. If the current scenario continues, it is expected that Putin will no longer be able to keep ships in the Black Sea. Following that, it appears likely that the Ukrainian army's enormous advantages will remain. However, statements made by war analysts on the subject have surfaced. These words demonstrated to the entire world how vital the Ukrainian army is. Many statistical points indicate that the Ukrainian army is now in the lead. According to war analysts, in reaction to these findings, it is known that Russian soldiers remain undecided regarding the war. He has lost a significant amount of political authority as a result of breakthroughs against Russia all around the world. The fundamental reason for this is Ukraine's military advantage. And the more Putin loses the conflict, the more hesitantly he continues on his course. It is based on recent victories gained by the Ukrainian army as a result. Rhetoric and thoughts began to arise that Putin had turned belligerent and was now out of control. Following that, while a huge number of Western countries initially opposed Putin, governments from all around the world have now taken action. The G7 countries have scheduled a summit to oppose and support Putin with this meeting. Everything became jumbled following his recent losses. Putin began to take completely different steps. The final nuclear phase in particular had the potential to change everything. 
Russia, which talks with various allies on a regular basis, has begun to alter its course in recent days. However, in response to the Ukrainian army's backing, Putin took a vital decision to transfer nuclear weapons to Belarus. This decision has enraged the entire world. When Putin understands he would lose power after losing the war, a nuclear tragedy could occur as a result of taking such a step against Ukraine. This, in turn, has the potential to plunge the entire world into conflict, while also attempting to obstruct several steps of the Ukrainian army as a result. The G7 countries have signed two key decisions. The first of these decisions was to support the Ukrainian army, while the second was to worsen Russia's embargoes. Because of this, the Russian military has restricted its actions against Ukraine. Putin then chose to put his entire army on the defensive in the actions that followed. A critical country took a significant step against Russia. This unexpected backing for Ukraine demonstrated how detrimental Russia's current policies are viewed in foreign policies are viewed in foreign policy. As a result of these recent actions, it is now predicted that the Ukrainian army would strike blows to the Russians in a variety of regions, one after the other. Everything became jumbled when this crucial country was discovered. Japan was one of the G7 countries that had a significant economic impact. Even Japan, which has not been a party to the Russian-Ukrainian war since its inception, is becoming bored. Japan, which has contributed a 550 million in humanitarian help to Ukraine, has responded with a massive relief package, and he led the way in dealing the most severe blow to the Russian army. Japan's assistance was genuinely intended to change the course of events in all sectors. Japan, which entered the debate by boosting its support by almost 11 times, also began to advocate that the war should be ended. Following that, Zelensky announced that the Ukrainian army was financially secure. That massive operation was to be carried out in order to drive Russia out of the Ukrainian region where it was virtually trapped. It is well known that Russians have been experiencing significant difficulties in the Ukrainian region for some time. In addition to losing consecutive battles, the Ukrainian army began to lose despite being in a defensive position due to a tactical adjustment. The cause for this defeat was that Ukraine targeted strategically important location. Ukraine has prepped its HIMARS to attack many units that provide logistical for Russian soldiers. Every convoy that Russia lost in this region was made available to the Ukrainian army. Furthermore, as a result of each convoy's distinct strategic value, the Russian army became severely tarnished. However, it is expected that the decisive blow delivered by Ukraine would be sufficient to end Putin's power. The Russian ammunition shipment was destroyed by the Israeli army. The incredible operation carried out by the Israeli Air Force ensured the destruction of the Russian ammunition shipment departing from Iran. There has been a great tension between the Russian leader, Vladimir Putin, and the Iranian leader, Ibrahim Raisi. D. Is the alliance between Russia and Iran coming to an end in the war between Russia and Ukraine as the duration of the war has decayed? The countries of the world have begun to show their sides, while the United States and many Western countries provide military equipment and financial resources to the Ukrainian army. Russia is experiencing great loneliness in this regard. The situation of Russia, which is trying to procure ammunition and weapons from countries such as Iran, Syria and Belarus is getting worse. Jewel. Even the countries that are trying to follow a neutral policy in the deconfliction between Russia and Ukraine have now started to show their side. Israel has become one of these countries. The war of shadows that has been going on between Israel and Iran for years has also been reflected in the war between Russia and Ukraine. Both countries are making a show of strength to each other to prove who is the most powerful state in the Middle East. In recent months, the Iranian Air Force has carried out an airstrike on an ammunition depot belonging to the Israeli Defense Ministry using four shot 136 model Kamikaze's unmanned combat aircraft. As a result of this attack by Iran, tons of ammunition belonging to the Israeli army were damaged and Israel suffered millions of dollars in losses. The Israeli Air Force carried out an airstrike on an unmanned combat aircraft production facility belonging to the Iranian army in recent weeks in retaliation for this attack by Iran.